Hey everybody, Ivan here from Anything Android. Today, I'm doing a little tutorial on how to get the end of days ROM on your Evo. So basically, you're going to take these three files up here, and you're going to download those. Those will be in my description box below. Now, after you download those, you're going to take your Evo. I'm sorry for the shakiness of the camera, but I'm actually holding it this time around. Um, anyways, you're going to take your Evo, and you're going to plug it in to your computer. Uh, you're going to go to my computer and go to the removable disk drive. That will be where your EVO is. As you can see, brings up your disk drive all, all of your you know, software, all your uh, apps and clockwork mod folders and whatnot. Anyways, you do have to be rooted for this just so you guys know, um, basically you take these three files, highlight them, drag them, drop them into the the root of your SD card. Not in a folder, but just on the root of it. Not, you're not going to want to put them in a folder, okay? You don't want them in anything. You just want it to be on the plain SD card right here. So, as you can see, there they are. Those are the three files you need right there, okay? Now, once you do that, you're going to back out here, and you're going to remove your Evo from your computer, okay? Power. Let's see, it says preparing SD cards, loading the files you just put on it, so now you're going to hold down, you're going to reboot into recovery, okay, reboot into recovery, press OK, I'll let it reboot here, Okay, there we go. Flash turn to recovery. It might be a little blurry for you, but I'm sure you can tell for the most part what it says. So basically, you're going to do a full data wipe. And if and if you're not ready for that, um, make sure you do an Android back, backup, which basically you just go to Backup and Restore. Okay choose backup. It's the top one right there. Can't really get it to focus in, but it's the top one if you're using clockwork mod. Okay. I already have a backup ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna wipe data slash factory reset. Okay. Go down, yes. Let's let it do its thing here. Alright, after that, go down to wipe cache partition. Wipe. And after that, we go down to advanced. And then after that, we go to Dalvik cache, wipe that. Okay, click yes. There we go. Okay. Now we should be all good to go. Go back. I'm going to install zip from SD card. Go choose zip from SD card. And we're going to pick EO EOD v2 dash a3 signed zip signed okay it's right here right below the highlighted one there okay so choose that right there 
and click yes install all right Wait for that to install. This will take a second here, so I have to give it a minute. <coughs> If you want, you guys can just fast forward through this until I get to the next part. This will take a good minute here. Alright, getting there. Okay, there we go. Okay, install complete. Okay, we're going to go back. I'm going to go reboot system now, okay? First boot up usually takes a little longer than normal. This is what end of days is based off of is Cyanogen Mod 7. I'll just wait here till it finally boots up. Okay, I should be getting close to booting up here. Alright, so here we go. <clears throat> Welcome. Alright. Go ahead and just click the power button. We're going to click reboot. And click. Uh, if you can see that, okay, recovery. I'll click OK. If I can touch here, <laughs> OK. <clears throat> All right, and it's going to reboot back into recovery. This is when we're going to flash the two other uh, files that you downloaded, okay? Let's boot it up here into recovery. Again, I'm sorry for the shakiness of the camera, but I wasn't able to use a tripod for this particular video, so just bear with me here. All right, now we're gonna go to choose zip from or install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card, and then we're going to choose. the uh, EODOV2-3 okay hybrid battery mod dash signed okay it's the one right below the highlight, highlighted one I had okay click that to install let that install Okay, there we go. Go back and reboot system. Make sure you follow these steps exactly, okay? You don't want to mess up your phone by flashing them all at once. Just, you know, follow these steps and you'll be okay. And don't forget to flash a, a backup if you do not have one already. So when you're doing this before you start just make sure you have a backup ready just in case something doesn't go how it's supposed to go and you'll end up with a permanent paperweight. Right, here we now go. This is the end of days food animation honeycomb style All 
All right. I got this started up. Once again, hold down the power button and click reboot. Click recovery. Okay. Okay. It's going to reboot. Alright, reboot back into recovery. We're going to flash the last file that you downloaded. And this video will come to a close. Alright, here we go. Just like the last two times, just go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then we're going to choose the last one, which is EOD v2 3 dot fix all dash signed. Okay? That's it, of course. Okay, I'm going to click yes, install. Wait for that to go. This won't take very long. It's almost done here. Okay, now we're just going to go to go back, reboot system now. And basically, guys, that's going to do it for this video. <coughs> you will now have end of days v2 on your phone right after it boots up. I'll let you see what kind of it looks like. And, uh, you know, don't forget, you guys, any requests of any ROMs, any app request reviews, anything like that, uh, send me a YouTube message, any questions, can concerning this ROM, send me a comment, message, however you want to get a hold of me on YouTube, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as I can. I'm pretty prompt when it comes to uh, responding to questions, so don't be shy, and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter on any underscore Android for any news and announcements related to Android. Okay, here we go. Booting up here. Okay. Should load up here in a second. Boot up. It's just going through the process of of getting ready to uh run the ROM. Uh don't be afraid, don't you know, if you think you messed it up, you know, just give it a good, you know, ten minutes. If after ten minutes it doesn't boot up then you might have a problem and you need to load your backup and try it again. But anyways, basically, you know, typical run through. I'm just going to skip this real quick. Next. And there we go. This is what it will look like. Okay. It comes up with the change log. You know, it runs ADW. Uh, I'll do a review in the next video. I'll upload and, uh, probably tomorrow, maybe maybe today. Uh, I'll see if I can get to it. But anyways, you guys, this is uh, Vinny from Anything Android. I'll see you guys next time.